I saw this in Midnight Race. Everyone came out so happy. I came out cheering. The Wolverine. Yes, this is the new, um, I say reboot, but really it's after X-Men Trilogy. So I don't understand why it's reboot from X-Men Origins, which sucked. Wolverine, yes, it sucked. But um, this is a pretty much like after what happened in X Men Three. Not seen it. You don't have to watch it because it's stupid. But whatever happened in Number Three, it's Wolverine now living alone and everything because people have died and everything, all kind of stuff. So here's the story. So after the third incident with um Gene, he is pretty much grieving now and he's alone. He has a big beard and everything. And all this, and, the, and these people come and get him and bring him to Tokyo and this old man he, who he saved really f very 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 many years ago and he's out offering him to be mortal to die and everything before the old man dies and he does that and now Wolverine Hugh Jackman's got to go through those stages to finally be mortal. So yeah, that's the main plot of the story. And I have to admit, the story's pretty good. Especially with the, um, the samurai and all kinds of stuff. It's mixed into it. And it's it's actually pretty interesting. When I first saw the trailer of this movie, I was thinking, really? It's filmed in Japan and everything. I felt like this movie was going to be really just not that good. But I have to say, it was actually pretty cool. I have to admit. Um, it, it, was a, it didn't really feel like a, a comic book movie. I mean, if you look at Avengers, that looks like a comic book movie. And it was a good comic book movie, I'm no doubt about that, but this is more a darker one. Was it more dark than Dark Knight Rises? No, Dark Knight Rises to me was more darker. But this really felt like a real movie. <laughs> well, it was a movie, it just not really felt like a comic book movie. Which is a very good thing, especially for the Wolverine. I don't really like the X-Men movies. I like X-Men First Class, but the only part, the only reason I like X-Men Trilogy is because of Wolverine. We finally get a good one, because X-Men Origin sucked. This, it's a good movie. It really is. The action scenes were well directed. The story was well written. Hugh Jackman kills it. I feel like he got more muscles in this one. I feel like he did. That's a good thing. It's such a cool movie. I mean, there's some times in the movie where it's a little bit like, to the edge, like, okay, that really couldn't happen, but it's a freaking Wolverine. He, he can't die. But then again, here's the main, main, main problem with this movie. It is somewhat predictable. I mean, you could predict something and it, it could happen. So this movie really does have a lot of good action. I mean, it does have a lot, of, it does have a good bit of talking or anything. Like, like there's, he's building a relationship with this other, this other Tokyo girl, and she's like very important. She's gonna be like a queen or something in a month or two, or a couple weeks, yeah, something like that, and he builds an relationship with her, and I like seeing that in the movie, because you don't really see him build a good relationship, because every time he builds a relationship, they always die, in this movie, it grows even more, and the bad guy, Viper, the blonde chick, Viper, she, to me, she wasn't the best villain, I mean, the, the best thing about her was her tongue and everything, and it was like, oh, you could kill this person, it was poisonous or anything, but she was not the best villain, I could... I could think a lot better villains for Wolverine, especially. So is this the Wolverine that everyone's wanting to see? Yes. It is. It's a really good movie. It's worth going to see in theaters. <clears throat> well, you could go see on DVD, but this movie's meant for theaters. It really is. I saw it at Midnight Release, and there was a lot of people there, and it, w it was pretty packed, and a lot of people came out saying, oh, it was a great movie. It was excellent. I have to admit, it was pretty darn good. It was somewhat predictable, though. That's what really bothered me. So I'm not giving this movie a full length 5 because it was somewhat predictable. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. I mean, it really was a good movie. It had good action, good dialogue, which made a lot of sense. It was just, it felt like the Wolverine movie everyone's been waiting for, and that's what you get. So yeah, that's the Wolverine, and I have to admit, it was a good movie. It's worth going to see in theories. Yes, it is. So yeah, guys, comment, subscribe. And hope you guys enjoy my movie reviews. I'm pretty much going to do this for now on my channel. So yeah, please continue to watch them and support me and everything. Because my 100th video is pretty soon. Which is War. Coming out tomorrow. So yeah guys, comment and subscribe.